My name is Johnny. I'm an office worker married and living in the house with my wife. As for my salary, it's not that high, but I'm early enough to live a good life. Actually, I have a secret. I've been writing manga as a hobby while working as an office worker. And the manga I recently uploaded on the internet was a big hit. After that thing went on swimmingly, and my book got published in the book and I'm receiving a lot of royalties. But my wife Lydia hates nerdy culture such as manga and anime, so I'm keeping this as a secret to her. And living as an office worker and a manga writer, the office I work accepts having a side job, and all my contact with my manager is all online, so there's no problem. Hey Johnny, I want to tell you something. Can my brother live here for a short while? Um, what? Lydia's brother? Jack was a troublemaker and I didn't like him much. My brother wasn't r e q u i t e his job, and he doesn't have any money nor a place to live, so I want to let him live here for a while. Seriously? Some time ago, Jack came over to stay and it was horrible. This happened a few years ago. Hello! Hi, come on in! Warrior, you're just standing there. Jeez! Uh, Lillian, could you make some tea? Why make Lillian do it? Can't you do that yourself? Uh, and we're having sushi for dinner. I'm ordering. And you're paying it, Johnny! Jack kept on with his horrible attitude and used my computer without asking to delete data. Eating the pudding in the fridge without permission and doing all sorts of things. He's definitely not staying. But he doesn't have anywhere to stay. Don't you feel sorry for him? That's his own responsibility for quitting his job and using all the money. Besides, we don't have a spare room. There is a computer room. A computer room is where I secretly write my manga. There is a computer, a printer, a pen tablet, and all my material I use. Thankfully, Lydia is good at dealing with electric machine, so she doesn't come in here. No, definitely not! You can't let your brother live here with us! I ended the conversation, and that was the end of it. I thought it was anyway. The next day was a holiday, so I worked in my manga all night. I fell asleep as the day broke, and I was sleeping until the midday when I suddenly heard the door open violently. Well, what a messy room. I'm going to live here from now on, so at least clean up. What the hell? My brother's going to live in this room from now on. I told you that he couldn't. How can you decide so arbitrarily? Because I feel sorry for him. Anyway, he's family. <sighs> I guess he's family to you. You've got a spare room anyway. You're such a tight word, Johnny. <sighs> Jeez, sorry. It was then Jack noticed my screen. I was in the middle of the writing manga when I sleep, so I had forgot to turn the computer off. What is this? Is this a manga? Don't look! You write a manga, Johnny? Shit! You're such a nerd! Wait, what? You know I hate nerdy stuff, right? Yes, but these things are so disturbing! This is my room from today, so clean this up! My. My things! Jack threw my computer and a pen tablet rapidly from the desk. I knew he was a violent guy, but how can he do this to another person's personal things? Lillian, I've told you many times, but I'm not allowing him to live with us. You need to get out of here from now, Jack! Shut up, man! I'm older than you, so you need to listen to me! And I have a right to live here as I'm related to Lillian. If he lives in this room, You can quit this weird hobby. This is an opportunity to fix you into a normal person. Are you seriously going to live with your brother? Of course I am. Leave if you don't want to. Seriously? I can leave? Are you kidding me? You're so funny. Leave then. You don't have anywhere to go anyway. I'm leaving. I packed the things I need to work and left the house by the end of the day. For a while, I lived at the hotel. Lydia ignored me, her husband. My precious work materials were treated in a violent manner, and my manga was insulted. I will never forgive it to that perverse character of a sibling. From that day, I started a totally different lifestyle of going to work from the hotel and coming back to the hotel to write manga. I was able to connect the pen tablet and computer in the hotel, so I made a great progress on my manga. 
As I was living this lifestyle, my manager gave me good news. Hey, Johnny! I've got some good news for you! Uh, what is it? The manga that you wrote is going to become an anime! Really? What great news! The book is getting reprinted as well! Thank you so much! At the same time, there was a revenge plan plotting up inside my head. William, are you there? Johnny, why won't you come home? I'm having a hard time on my own. I'm sorry, I'm here to apologize and tell you something. Hey Johnny, what are you doing coming back home like that? I want to tell you something too, Jack. I told them that I was offshore work as a manga writer. And the moment they found out that my mangas were hitting, they suddenly changed their attitude towards me. Johnny, why didn't you tell me that you were so successful as a manga writer? I can boast my friends that a member in my family is famous. <laughs> Both of you like. But、uh, I want to concentrate on my work for a while, so can I stay at the hotel for some time? Of course you can, but come back home whenever you want. I'm going to tell all my friends too. Lily and Jack seemed really excited, and. They boasted that all their friends, a member of their family, was a famous manga writer. A few weeks later. Hey, what the hell is this? What is what? The manga that you wrote. I looked at the one for this month. The characters in it are just like me and Jack. Ah, they're just like you too, aren't they? What the hell? A selfish monster wife and a troublemaker guy with no job. You're just a model in the manga I'm writing. I'm introduced to characters who are just like Lydia and Jack. Of course, the names are also Lydia and Jack. Even the episodes in the manga are just what happened in the real life. Because of you, all my friends who read the manga laughed at me. If you're ashamed, don't do those horrible things. I just saw what actually happened. Lydia and Jack had told almost their friends about me and my manga, and most of them read the manga which used them as a model. The funny thing is that they're the old best thing in real life they are portrayed in the manga. Both of them were made fan of their friends. Thanks for giving me such a good story. How could you? After that, I got many angry messages from Lydia, but I ignored them and started to make a move at getting a divorce. Lydia didn't want to divorce me as I was getting famous, but we were able to get divorced in the end. It turned out that Lydia was using a lot of my royalty payments, by expensive clothes, jewelry, and accessories. Of course, there was no reason for me to pay those things, so Lydia had to pay for them all. And of course, the house was bought in my name. So I had Lydia and Jack leave the house, and now I use the entire house as my workspace. Jody, the manga of this month was very popular as well. Thank you. The two bad characters in the story were very real, and everyone liked it a lot. That's very good here. I really did my best in writing this one. Lee and Jack, who had I kicked out, eventually went home to their parents' house, but their parents didn't let them live with them as they are already grown up now. So they seem to be having a hard time. As for me, I'm becoming more and more popular as a manga writer, and it will be great to write another manga after real episode in my life. <laughs>